Hey guys, it's Louis from the Enrichment Room. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a very cool Chinese lantern um, with some really cool easy steps and some simple tools. All you need today is a pair of scissors, a stapler, and if you don't have a stapler, you can always use glue or another solution also, um, and some paper. So, and the colors of your paper, you can make the colors of your choice. I chose to do red and yellow, the color of the Chinese flag. Um, but colors are a choice, um, so you can use purple, green, whatever colors you decide to use. Um, so, let's get started. Alright, so the first step is you're going to grab your paper, and from the corner, you're just going to kind of put your thumb out and the distance of your thumb on the paper, as you can see, it's a very small distance. I'm just going to cut that length, but up. I'm going to chop a nice piece off of my paper. Perfect. So this paper right here, don't throw it away. You're going to need this in a few minutes. This part right here, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the paper in half. And make sure it's nice and even. Go down. Perfect. And then with these scissors, you're just going to cut up and make some strips into the fold. Okay. So this is very easy. Um, and just to give you guys a little details about the Chinese lanterns, these lanterns are super cool, super festive. They represent a lot of positive good luck. They also are a way to bring in light into your homes um, with some very cool designs and material. Um, most are made with paper. Um, but yes, Chinese lanterns are very unique and beautiful. So when you're done, it should look like this. I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow paper now, just to get that one out the way also. Because I'm going to do something cool. So, measure my distance perfectly. I cut up. Perfect. So now I got both my yellow and my red strips. Now I fold the yellow paper in half also. And we cut. When you cut, you don't want to make them too big. You want to make a lot of strips in a way because those are going to be the opening creases of your lantern. So make sure that you know um, you make decent sized cuts between. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now I got my yellow paper and I got my red paper. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open it up and we're going to bend it around to form the lantern shape. Okay. Super cool. So basically I kind of just connect one side of the lantern to the other and form it in a round shape. and. I'm going to grab my stapler and I'm going to staple the lantern shut. So there it goes that side. There goes this one. So there's my first lantern. Move the camera down a little bit so we see the lantern. Perfect. And then we're going to do the same thing with the next one. I'm going to open it up, just going to form that circle shape and we're going to connect it so that we can staple the layer into enclosed. So grab my stapler, if you guys notice I got a little mini blue stapler. Alright, perfect. So 
Now I got both of my lantern shapes. Now, here's where your strips come in handy. So I'm gonna make a coal, I'm gonna just make them opposite colors with the handle. We're just gonna be stapling our handles now for our lantern so that they can hold on tight. So I'm gonna staple handle to each side. Perfect. There's one of them. Perfect. Now let's see. Cool. All right. And we are all done. All right. Almost. Now we are. <laughs> Perfect. So now as you guys can see, we made two little cool Chinese lanterns with all we needed was just paper, scissors, a stapler, or glue, as I said, and just imagination, some creativity. Um, so these are very cool lanterns. As I said, if you want to learn more about them, look up Chinese lanterns or um, comment down below and I would love to answer any questions. Uh, if you guys want to share what yours looks like, definitely send it to our virtual club email, virtual.club at lbgc.org. And we would love to post and share your lantern also. So definitely show us what you guys made and hope you guys enjoyed this cool craft.